Welcome back guys, GTA 5 Enhanced Edition was released on PC platform a couple of days ago. It's a free upgrade for people who already own the original version of GTA 5 which is now marked as GTA 5 Legacy. We are able to migrate our story mode progression and online progression from Legacy to Enhanced. Many technical improvements have been made. This has raised the system requirements of GTA 5 but do not worry, you will still be able to play GTA 5 Legacy. But if you want to play GTA Online with your friend, both people need to be using the same version of GTA 5, either Enhanced or Legacy. They cannot be using a different version of the game to play GTA Online. The Enhanced Edition also includes some new content for GTA Online, like some new vehicles and performance upgrades. Animal ecosystem has been added to the open world. The following technical enhancements have been made. The PC version of the game has some exclusive ray tracing features like ambient occlusion and global illuminations. Ray trace reflections and shadows were already available on consoles. They are also present in the PC version. Added support for FSR 1, FSR 3 and DLSS 3 upscalers. Unfortunately, no frame generation is supported at the moment. But the developers have confirmed that DLSS and FSR frame generation support will be added to the game soon via future update. The game now supports direct storage. It's recommended to install it on an NVMe based SSD. It will help in reducing the load times. Enhanced support for higher resolutions, higher aspect ratios and higher frame rates. Launch version was capped at 120fps but this fps cap has been removed now. Include support for DualSense controller with adaptive triggers. Enhanced audio with support for Dolby Atmos and improved fidelity of speech, cinematics and music. These are the new system requirements recommended. Processor Ryzen 5 3600. GPU RTX 3060-8GB VRAM. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU 8GB of VRAM. So I'll be running the game with maxed out settings, ray tracing enabled. We'll be showing you how to use TLSS for upscaler. Out of the box, the game comes with TLSS upscaler version 3.7.1. I was not impressed by the image quality. It was looking a bit soft and pixelated in some areas. Switching to DLSS 4 Transformer model helped in increasing the sharpness and reducing the aliasing. Now it's not recommended to manually update DLSS Upscaler's DLL file. This can cause some issues with the game's anti-cheat implementation, that is Battle Eye. But anti-cheat will only be a problem if you play GTA Online. If you only play GTA 5's campaign mode, not the online mode, then you can simply disable Battle Eye anti-cheat via Rockstar Games Launcher. One way to use DLSS 4 in GTA Online is by using NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So first I'll show you this method. I'll also show you how to manually update DLSS 4 Upscaler in GTA's campaign mode. The reason for doing this is that by default DLSS Auto Exposure setting is set to off in this game and it cannot be enabled via NVIDIA Profile Inspector. It can be enabled via DLSS Tweaks or OptiScaler. I'll be using the latter. But this is only applicable to the game's campaign mode, not GTA Online. First, I'll be downloading NVIDIA Profile Inspector. We'll give its GitHub link in the description of the video. This application is free. Click on the Releases section here and download the latest version of Profile Inspector. Click on this dot zip link. In order to activate DLSS Force Transformer model, we just need to set the model preset to K. In order to verify DLSS Upscaler's details like its version and model preset, I'll be enabling DLSS Debug Overlay using the registry code provided by Amos. Just copy these lines from here. Create a new text file anyway on your PC and name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Select right click open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. In order to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Now click on file, save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert this change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Open. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're done here. Just open NVIDIA profile inspector.zip file. Copy all of the files present inside this zip file. Go back, paste. Now just run nvidia profile inspector.exe file. More info run anyway. Yes, this window will open up. Just click on the drop down bar next to profiles. Type Grand Theft Auto 5. There's GTA 5. Select it. 
you can see the exe files mentioned here gta5 underscore enhance the reason i am using nvidia profile inspector is that nvidia's own app does not even detect gta5 enhance addition and this is when i have installed the latest game ready gpu driver its version 572.70 this is so disappointing just scroll down until you find common section there it is click on the drop down bar next to dlss enable dll override select on dlss overridden by latest available now click on the drop down bar next to dlss force preset letter from here just select use latest always use latest click on apply changes these changes are made on a driver level basis they do not modify the game files no risk of getting banned with this method close open rockstar games launcher settings battle eye anti-cheat enabled i actually own the steam version of the game launch the game we'll be using custom afterburner only to show you the performance metrics first i'll test gt online in game settings resolution full hd screen type full screen my monitor supports up to 240 hertz refresh rate I'll enable Reflex. In game VSync off, I've enabled VSync from NVIDIA control panel. No FPS cap applied. Graphics preset, I'll just select maximum RT, ray tracing. Estimated VRAM usage close to 5.4 GB. Ray tracing effect set to Ultra. Upscaler set to DLSS using its quality preset. Very high to Ultra settings. Extended shadows distance set to nil. Motion blur disable. Just set post FX to normal with the ultra preset. Some ghosting will be produced around our vehicle's bumper when the car is moving at high speeds. With ray tracing on, the game will force TA anti aliasing. That's it. This is my current location right outside of the city, standing at the entrance of. Lagos and Cuda facility. Thick foliage around me. I'll show you the animal ecosystem. There's one creature running away from me. Equip my weapon. Image quality is looking very sharp. You can see the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Model preset used is K. Version of the upscaler 310.2.1. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD. But DLSS auto exposure setting is off. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around objects in the environment. Also fixes the shimmering issue produced by shiny objects in the environment. FPS is within a range of 70 to 80. There's one creature. See, deer, <laughs> it's running away. People are having a good time, birds. Okay, I'll fly towards the city. Oh no, these guys are shooting at me. I finally figured out the flying controls using a keyboard. Just need to press and hold the left control key in order to gain some height. In order to descend, need to hold the shift key. So many players in this lobby. All hell will break loose when I enter the city. I am from India, using an ethernet connection to play the game. There's the beautiful city. Check out the scale of this map. 80 to 90 FPS, not bad. And look at that VRAM usage. Close to 7 GB. It's a shame that this game does not support FSR frame generation. It doesn't even support DLSS frame generation. I've already tested OptiScale FSR frame generation mod. Unfortunately, it does not work properly. Heart flickers when I enable OptiScale FSR frame generation. But the developers have confirmed that frame generation will be added to the game soon via future update. In the meantime, you can use LSFG. It's part of a paid application called Lossless Scaling that sells on Steam Store for around 7 US dollars. Just a few hitches here and there. I've installed the game on an NVMe based SSD, direct storage. We are not hitting the GPU bottleneck here. GPU load is within a range of 80 to 85%. So single core CPU performance seems to be the limiting factor. Check out the CPU usage for CPU 7, close to 85%. Lost control there. 
So now I'll be showing you how to use TLSS for upscaler with auto exposure setting on in the game's campaign mode 70 to 80 fps in the city with ray tracing max settings open nvidia profile inspector first i'll revert the changes click on the drop down bar next to profiles from here select gta 5 and there it is scroll down until you find the common section there it is just need to click on the nvidia icon next to dlss enable dll override this will restore the change do the same thing for dlss force preset letter click on apply changes i'll be using the latest nightly build of optiscaler you can download it from github expand assets section click on a dot 7 g link here download the latest version of dlss subscaler from tech power of website this is the latest version at the time of recording this video click on download here Click on any of these servers, download will start. Open Rockstar Games Launcher. Click on Settings. Uncheck Battle Eye. Won't be running GT Online. Open OptiScaler Mods Archive file. Copy the following files, two of them OptiScaler.dln and OptiScaler.ini. Just need to paste them in the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on Browse Local Files. Paste these files here. Change the name of optiscaler.dll file to txj.dll Before manually updating DLSS subscaler dll file, make sure to create a backup of the original file. Just copy nvngx underscore dlss.dll I'll just paste it on the desktop. Paste. Now I'll update the upscaler to the latest version. Open the upscaler's archive file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this dll file need to paste it in the games install directory replace the older version of tlss upscaler with the latest version there it is nvngx underscore tlss dot tll version 3.7.10 paste replace check the new version 310.2.1 we are ready to run the game this time i'll be running the game with very high preset no ray tracing i'll switch to dla game supports it officially post fx set to normal apply the settings we are in this franklin the image quality is looking so sharp this is dla after all base resolution full hd upscale to full hd model preset used is k version of the upscaler 310.2.1 auto exposure setting is set to off so just open OptiScaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Upscaler can be selected from this drop down bar. DLSS is selected. From here just enable auto exposure setting. Click on save INI. Our mod settings will be saved even after restarting the game. And now check out the DLSS debug overlay. Auto exposure setting is set to on. I'll just drive my vehicle around. FPS is close to 110. Hitting the GP bottleneck here. Oh, there was a hitch. Can be a few hitches here and there. When we are driving at high speeds, game becomes CPU bottleneck in the city area. Keep an eye on the GP load. Close to 95%. Okay, I'll just enable OptiScale FSR frame generation now, show you the problem. Yeah, hey, GP load is close to 91%. Open mod menu, frame generation active. Enable FG debug view. Check the setting FG hotfix. Limit value set to 1. Yeah, you can see in the bottom middle image, some flickering is going on. I'll just disable debug view back to the game i just wanted to show you the game's hard elements yeah they are flickering as you can see fsr frame generation smooth effect does seem to be working properly fps increased to around 175 so smooth hopefully the developers will add support for fsr 3 soon frame generation in the meantime you can use lsfg 
does not produce these graphical artifacts like heart flickering. Increasing the FG heart fix limit value does not help in fixing this issue. See? I'll show you how to delete the mod and revert to the original DLSS upscaler file. Open the game's install directory and select the following files txgi.dll, optiscaler.ini and optiscaler.log. Delete them. Now we need to replace the latest version of TLSS subscaler file with the original version. I created a backup of it on the desktop. Copy it from there. Paste it in the games install directory. Replace. Open Rockstar Games Launcher. Go to settings. Check battle eye. We are ready to run GTA Online. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.